I have my piece securely clamped on a table outside. I have goggles that create a complete seal around my face so that way I don't get a bunch of dust in my eyes. Uh, dust mask and hearing protection. And I should be ready. So I'm going to start taking off some pretty shallow cuts just to get a feel for the Arbor Tech, uh, and then I'm going to start going a little heavier. The ArborTech turboplane works very similarly to a handheld power planer. There are three shallow carbide teeth protruding about a sixteenth of an inch. If you take a cut deeper than the blades, you bottom out on the body of the turboplane. This works as an excellent safety feature, limiting your depth of cut to a manageable amount of wood at a time. You are much less likely to lose control over the angle grinder if the blade unexpectedly grabs at the wood. Nevertheless, I have taken the precaution of screwing the handle of my angle grinder away from the rotation of the blade. I have also angled the blade guard at 45 degrees so I can more easily cut against the rotation of the blade while keeping my hands safe. There are several reasons why I have chosen the ArborTech turboplane over a conventional burr carving disc. First, the carbide teeth leave a much cleaner finish and can be easily resharpened. Burr carving discs leave a rougher finish and cannot be resharpened. Second, burr carving discs often become coated with a buildup of resin that's difficult to clean off. This in turn heats up the burr disc and dulls it, dulls it faster. The ArborTech has wide gullets that quickly evacuate wood chips from the cutting surface so it never really accumulates resin. Keeping the blades clear from the chips also keeps them cool so they stay sharper longer. You'll notice that I frequently turn off the angle grinder so that I can assess my progress on the seat surface. The most accurate tool to detect inconsistencies are my fingers. If I run all four fingers across the surface, I have four points of reference that can pick up on high points and low points that I couldn't see. I also have my profile templates that I made with hardboard to check on my overall progress. Now that I have hogged almost all the waste out, I started to get a real feel for the Arbor Tech towards the end and was able to take some fairly precise cuts. Uh, I'm going to try a few different tools to um, dial in a flat, smooth surface. So first thing I'm going to try is this convex um, block plane. It's convex in both directions, so it should be able to knock off a lot of those high points. Thank you. 
The sole of my convex plane is fairly small, so I tried to change my direction of cut as often as possible to hit all the high points on the surface of the seat. The blade was freshly sharpened, so I didn't have any issues of tear out. Next up, I switched back to the angle grinder, this time with a 120 grit sanding disc. It cut a lot less aggressively than the turbo plane, so I was able to take pretty smooth, controlled passes. I continued to alternate between the convex sold plane and the sanding disc on the angle grinder for about an hour until I was ready to proceed with just hand tools and sandpaper. <laughs> 